Uh, my name is Arthur Ray Jr. Uh, I am a perioosteal osteosarcoma survivor. It's been 14 years, will be 15 this July uh, for me being in remission. Uh, what helped me through my cancer journey was, uh, man, I, I was an athlete in high school, uh, 17. Uh, I was a football player, you know, in the Chicagoland area. I signed a scholarship to play at Michigan State. Um, so really, really my, my love and passion for um, wanting to return to my sport you know, at the age of 17, getting this diagnosis was uh, very traumatic, traumatizing to me mentally. You know, it took a, took a huge toll on uh, my identity, you know, who I thought myself to be at that time and everything. Uh, what helped me through was just having that as a point, you know, uh, working back um, to get through everything when it came to wanting to play the sport I love and, and just not, not not uh not believe in one second that I wouldn't get back to uh, to the guy I was. Looking back, what I thought could have been improved with my cancer care was just my uh, my attitude, man. You know, uh, I was young, and um, I just didn't understand what was happening to me. Very upset, very angry, and because it came out of nowhere. It's not like you know this runs in my family or anything. Bone cancer sort of just creeps up on you like that. But I think that uh, of course I would love now hindsight looking at a more holistic approach you know I, I, I tell people all the time you know I'm a survivor of uh I'm a survivor of cancer and chemotherapy as well you know just knowing the effects it has on your body but a message that I would like to share with people who've been diagnosed with cancer now or in the past uh take care of your mind it's mind over matter you know whatever you believe in you know whether it's God or you know whatever you you want to call it spirit you know just uh put your trust and have faith that that you'll you'll be able to to get back to your old self to your old life you know I was blessed blessed to return to uh to play football and uh you know end up end up playing in college and played in the NFL and now I'm coaching you know I, I love love life every single day you know getting cancer at such a young age gives you a great perspective on life you know I I enjoy just just walking around you know just uh the the small things the little things um, important topics that I would like to see cancer researchers address, like I mentioned earlier, a more holistic approach. I'd love for, you know, in the future for chemotherapy to not exist, you know, for you to not have to put the, 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 the negative effects of it into your body and the negative effects that it, that it has long-term, especially with me being at year 14, I know the chemo therapy I took supposed to have long-term effects on my heart, you know, so I'd like to, in the future, when patients get diagnosed with cancer, some more holistic, more natural, more approach where it can directly attack the tumor and the cancer cells without harming you. So, you know, I'm uh, looking forward to that. You diagnosed with cancer, uh, especially with me uh, at 17, you know, you, you're, you're, you're lost. You, 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 um, it's a, it's a dark space where you have to travel to mentally, you know, to, uh, to overcome everything. Um, you know, like I mentioned earlier, I think you need to you need to have semantic faith and you need to do what makes you happy. You know, as humans, you know, a lot of time we take things for granted. You know, like I mentioned, the normal things. And uh, I, I've spent I spent two years on crutches, 25 months to be exact. So, uh, you know, walking around, uh, getting some sun, that's, you know, normal things that that I enjoy now. You know, I think that um, when you're in the midst of the, of the battle, you know, and you're going through chemotherapy and you lose your hair and, you know, you're, you're sort of, you're battling that, 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 that human side of thing. Your emotions are all over the place. You know, try to, try to cling to the people that you trust, you know, for your support system, it's, it's hard on them too, because they, they, they care about you so much, but they can't do much and they can't experience it for you. Um, so all the survivors out there, just wish you guys peace and blessings. You know, uh, hopefully we can get a chance to get in contact. You know, I'm always available.